What is happening, collectors? I am continuing the journey where I'm opening up all the fun stuff that came out of my mailbox. And we are continuing now onto some of these awesome boxes. We got a Gengar GX box with some goodies in it, as well as a Dragonite EX box. Now, there was actually a triple pack, and you can see there's one behind me there. There was the Snorlax GX box that I opened live on uh, my last pack break last week when I was doing Vivid Voltage. At the end, I just felt like I wanted to open up something, so I cracked into that. So, sorry if there was anything good, maybe you'll see on the screen there. Um, well, actually, I guess I could just tell you, it wasn't that great of an opening. I got, I got a Mega Venusaur, um, which was okay, but still, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for everybody that jumped in on that pack break. So we're getting into these. Now, these were a bargain of a deal that I got from uh, from GameStop in the US over a year ago. It's just crazy, over, over a year ago. But this one, we're gonna actually start with the Gengar GX box because Gengar is awesome. I have an awesome Gengar shirt from Pokemon Center that I enjoy. And now we're gonna be jumping into this. I had thought, now this was the middle box. This one came kind of unopened when I opened up the package, but um, uh, it came as a triple pack, which is really cool. And I had assumed the pack selection would be the same in the middle, but it was not. It was a little bit different. So that is a cool little Gengar EX card. Um, and it's not actually even a Black Star promo. It is, as you can see, it's 34 of 119. And that's, I forget what that's maybe Primal Claw. I forget what that, what that card is. But anyways, you know what? There's a code card in there. I'm going to just... Yeah, see if I can pop that out quickly here just because I'm sure somebody would appreciate it. So there is a nice up close of that Gengar EX. And there is a code card for somebody. And now we've got a okay pack selection. I mean, Sun and Moon Base, eh, Steam Siege. It's been a while, Steam Siege. Evolutions and a Primal Clash. And then, of course, we get that nice Jumbo EX card. Uh, Gengar EX card. So that's kind of neat. Put that down there. And we're gonna crack into these packs. Evolutions obviously being the best uh, out of this selection here. We're gonna just quickly crack through that Steam Siege. Um, I've, you know, Steam Siege obviously gets a lot of hate. Um, I've never been a huge fan of it, but I've had good luck with it. I will say that. So, um, one, two, three. Um, well, maybe we will continue that luck. I'm not sure what I need from the set. It's not a humongous set. It's only 114 cards, so. Captivating Pokepuff, Tangrowth, Maril, Litleo, we've got a Rufflet, Fungus, Fungus, that's a fun guy right there. Ponyard, we've got a Reverse Fletchling, and we have got a Steelix EX, cool. I really like Steelix. I really, really like Steelix. Those are red eyes, just because we got the Steelix in, um, uh, what is the, what set is it in? Is it in Battle Styles or is it Vivid Voltage? I can't even remember now. I think it's Battle Styles that there's a Steelix. So that's pretty cool. We got, we got a hit at a Steam Siege. How great is that? So a code card, maybe someone wants the Steam Siege. I don't know. Sun and Moon Base. There's a, what is it? The gold, gold Great Ball that's, uh, that's in this one. There's a lot of evolutions as well. There's, there's some, there's some good ones. So. Uh, we are Sun and Moon base here, so let's see if we can get some second pack magic. That has been a fantastic start to uh, to this box here. So Lily, I think is it Lily that is the full art in this in this set? I can't remember. Wingall, Surskit, Young Goose. We've got a Reverse Shelter and oh, I thought we were gonna do. I thought we were gonna do the uh, the gold. Uh, great ball or ultra ball or whatever it is, but we got a gold secret rare Rotom Dex. I'm sure this isn't worth that much, but it's gold, baby. It's gold. This has been a fantastic start to an opening here. Not too shabby. I will take gold all day long. All day long. That is excellent. So we've got an ultra rare and we've got a secret rare. Oh man. I, you know what? I was going to say, I have not pulled a secret rare for myself. Specifically a rainbow rare in a long time. Like it's it it's crazy how long it has been. All right, Primal Clash. I have not opened up Primal Clash in a hot minute. It's been a while. Um, can we go three packs in a row with a hit? That'd be pretty neat. Um, I don't even know if I'm missing some some cards from this set just because it's I don't know. Professor Bursch. He seems like a cool guy. I like seeing more of him. 
Dublade, Hip Hop Anonymous, Surskit, Barboach, Zigzagoon, we've got a Trico, Hip Hop Anonymous, Reverse Hollow, and a Rhyperior non holographic. Still not bad. Not bad. I I can live with that. So obviously when you get to Primal Clash, it's a white code card. But doesn't mean much, obviously. So Evolutions, my favorite. I am actually only missing apart I I need some reverse hollows. I'm missing one, count it, one card from the set. And that is Mega Charizard. We are missing Mega Charizard, the full art. The only thing I need from the set. Um, and then some specific reverse hollows. And not even like difficult reverse hollows, just commons and uncommons, and probably a few rares, but. Um, and by me opening these packs, these are like $20 a pack. I should not be opening them. I should really just sell them and I could get the Mega Charizard. Like it's a $60 card maybe. It's not that expensive, but it would be way more exciting to pull it myself. But at this point, I don't know. A Poliwhirl, I think I do not need that one. Reverse, and we've got a Zapdos Holographic. Hey, hey, we got a Hollow. I do not generally have the Hollow luck with, uh, with, with Evolution, so that's not bad. I don't know if I need that one. Might need that. Might need, who knows? Um, in terms of, because I, I may have the reverse and not the, the main hollow, but on to the Dragonite EX box. That was fantastic. We got three, they're technically all white code cards, even though one was a non hollow. But we've got a hollow, an ultra rare, and a, uh, a seeker rare out of that box. So that was a that was a pretty solid box. Again, my theory is that, uh, that Pokemon, they used to give the good pulls, and not anymore, at least for my luck. So there is a Dragonite EX, and also not, and that's what, fighting a Furious Fist maybe? I can't remember. Um, Dragonite EX, and the code card is not in there, so I'm gonna pop that one out later. I like this one, there's the code card. There's a code card for somebody. We got two Evolutions packs, and then two Fates Collides packs, which is great. And then there is that Dragonite EX card. That is very, very cool. We'll put that on the ground, and I think Fates Collide, that had, that's that got the Mega Alakazam and the Alakazam cards. Um, so that's really what we're looking for. Um, I've had some luck pulling those in the past, um, but I'm sure I'm still missing some cards. Wormadam, Zygarde, that's actually a really cool card. Almanite, Spoink, 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 Spoink. Solosis, Fennekin, another nice artwork. Carbink, a Jigglypuff reverse, and a Lugia. Cool artwork. I always wonder why these like awesome artwork cards, and they're like, well, you know what? We're gonna make that one non-hollow. There's an upside down code. Somebody can, somebody can do that one. Yeah, I, I, I know they gotta make some, you know, interesting cards for, uh, for the, you know, non-hollows and all, but some of these like like Lugias and things like that. I feel like Lugia should just almost always be holographic. That's just, that's my, that's what I'm saying. Devolution Spray, Wismer, Min, Volubi, Larvitar, and a Coughing. Fennekin, Reverse Hollow, and we've got a, Luc uh, a Lucario, another awesome artwork card. So, another upside down card, there we go. So we are finishing with Evolutions again. Between these three Evolutions packs, I probably could have sold them and paid for the Mega Charizard, which is absolutely insane. But out of all of these, I still have another six boxes uh, individually of these that I could I could sell or I could open. I, I am unsure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but. All right, come on, let's get some luck. Let's get that Mega Charizard. Or let's get a reverse, reverse hollow that I need, or I would, oh, there's a secret rare. Imakuni's Doduo. I will take that. Um, even a reverse Charizard. I've pulled that twice, um, both of which are away at grading, and I am excited to get those back one day. I assume I will be much older. Porygon, reverse hollow, and we've got a Arcanine. An Arcanine, that is too bad. There is a code card, and we are gonna finish with the Charizard pack art, because that's where the Mega Charizard is hiding. It's, it's true. It's just science, guys. It's just science. It's how it works in evolutions, or, or so I'm told. <laughs> um, 
But I hope you guys have given this video a big old thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Another secret rare. I like this one, the Alolan Executor. That is a very, very cool one. I've had luck with those those uh, secret rares out of these Evolutions packs lately. Ponyta, we've got a Doduo. Come on, let's see something. Misty's Determination, and we are finishing with... Oh, Starmie. Oh, well, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.